YouTube fam, what's up? It's back. We're back. I'm black. Wait, I'm back. Daniel's black. Back. Oh, wow, man. Episode 38. It's a banger. It's Thursday morning. I'm sipping my coffee. It's 9.02 in the morning, man. I, I wake up around what? 7? Uh, I woke up at 7.30 this morning. What time do you wake up? Uh, I woke up at 6.41 because wow. Curtis wanted to. 6.41. Yeah. When you wake up, first thing you grab your phone or what? No, I Curtis is usually whining at the door, so I wouldn't walk outside and let him out. Huh. And Interesting. Wait for him to do you have uh, any sort of morning routine, or you just kind of go with the flow, or what? Uh, wake up, use the restroom, then what? I uh, go that and make a, take a poop. Yeah, and then I go and make right. a. Right when you wake up, you don't. I have to, man. I got hmm. stomach problems, you know. I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's a no. no. I mean, I feel great once I do. Then I go uh, make a little bagel. And like this little energy thing that we drink, and mm-hmm. then, uh, then I'm pretty ready for the day. And then you no know, coffee, coffee. Uh, no, I'm not a big coffee guy. I ah. can't. Yeah, I just can't. It's good. I know a lot of people are coffee guys, coffee girls. Um, yeah. And it's a big thing with mom too. I would tell her, I'm like, make sure you get hydrated. A lot of people wake up. Even people listening to this, just change, add this into your routine. Get hydrated, dude. Right. Or do that. Just get hydrated. Wake up. First thing you do in the morning, get can hydrate it dead first thing uh garner has me doing is apple cider vinegar i put it what i do is i fill up a fat water squeeze a lime in there put a little uh couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar stir it up and i drink it with a straw and i swear it just hydrates me dude and that's not I, the first thing i do my t- i do my i go outside and do my meditation in the morning but hydrate before you drink coffee coffee's gonna dehydrate you yeah you wake up dehydrated already don't drink coffee first thing in the morning ideally you drink it what an hour after you wake up well, yeah, you don't I think. need. You're not supposed to even need it with like right. when you wake up. That's where your cortisol levels are the highest, and mm-hmm. you're supposed to be like awake and ready. And that's so, when your cortisol cortisol levels are the highest, when right? You as you up? wake up, yeah, they spike because they're like get you ready for the day. Huh. But and then by drinking coffee, you're constantly mm, diminishing the need for those cortisol levels. So then that's why you wake up and you're groggy and you're tired and you need your coffee. Yeah. See, I don't. Uh, I don't feel like I I don't really feel like I need my coffee probably because I hydrate in the morning and I wait and then I do my coffee at, like a while after waking up um and also making coffee is fun for me like it's like task. something I've been doing for like five years it's just it's not really I wouldn't even call it a task or a chore it's something fun it's like playing a game of Madden it's just fun dude I enjoy it I play play around with the different temperatures I, I do an AeroPress coffee it's crazy dude those two little AeroPress things I've had for like five years the same ones yeah just Damn. been fucking grinding on like making coffee and it's uh it's something fun but I just wanted to touch base on hydrating and yeah. and going outside Shoot. first thing in the morning I'm back on my bullshit dude I'm back on my camp life I'm back on my ever routines and I swear to god routines are life discipline equals freedom you heard that one before jocko i haven't it's powerful discipline equals freedom and i feel like when i'm disciplined and doing all my routines i feel a lot more free and when i say free i mean mentally free from anxiety and stuff like that i just feel i can enjoy the days more when i have a good routine wake up go outside get the sun start your uh circadian rhythm or whatever the fuck that shit is you know what i mean i mean frick that stuff is and uh just I'm back on that, and I just want to spread the good word because how good I feel, and I know there's people out there that need some direction, need some advice, need some help, and well, I'm gonna tell like, you. I feel like it's kind of hard for people because they feel like their day is so, like they have to start work at eight, and some people have to commute. Yeah. So it's like I feel like they don't I they forget. want the extra sleep rather than waking up an hour earlier and getting a great morning routine. What do, you, right. what do you like? Would you rather have? Because right. sleep is so incredibly important and people are on some busy mm. schedules. You're right. Or maybe they're I not making it. enough time out of their day. Mm. I feel like it's so much harder. Going to sleep earlier is a hard thing for people to do. Yeah. It's like, ah, I'd rather stay up and watch a little bit of Netflix, which I don't blame you, dude. Because it's your I love time. my shows. I love my shows. But we've been going to bed earlier and waking up earlier and it just feels good. But I forget people have eight hours jo- or uh, full-time jobs and uh, – and I, I do forget about that. But I think yeah. going waking up, doing a five minute, getting up five minutes earlier, go outside for five minutes would change, would help a lot. Um, Peachy's stuck outside. Got a gate up around the fence now. Whoa. We got a fence up around outside. So uh, no, it looks good. Yeah. Now Peachy's locked out there right now, though. So. That's fine. He's kind of annoying, anyways. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean that's a good that's a good point. People uh people do have busy days, man. We've got kids. Yeah, gosh. Kids and shit, you know? Kids and juggling work and other stressors and Speaking of uh stressors and cortisol and inflammation, Dan Garner. The I man. did my Dan the man Garner. I did my blood work again. A very extensive lab results. I don't know if I used that word right. Yeah, I just don't know if I, I think, it's not where no, I wanted I think it. I just works. didn't sound how I wanted to. Anyway, it works. I did it. He he got it back. Did a, he always? This is probably my fourth time he's done the blood where he sends me like a forty-five minute video. Danny and I watch it, full of knowledge. Can't even watch it in one sitting. There's just so much there, so much to to take out of it. So we watched half of it last night. We're gonna watch half of it today. Um, but he said. And Garner gets upset when people say I party too much because he knows my body more than anybody as far as my internals and my, my, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he knows I train and stuff and, but I, people see what they, what I post. So I don't blame people for thinking I party too much. Um, but he was like, dude, your inflammation levels are so low that it's actually crazy that you don't really? see that from people that party or don't have good sleep. He's like, you're in how much you train, like your inflammation levels are so low. He was very impressed with it. And he got kind of mad at people that think I uh, <laughs> don't take it serious. That's pretty sweet, actually. It was, it was cool. Do you think, I feel like most people should, then again, it's like, do you think most people should be able to, should go get their stuff tested so they know their, <laughs> infl- like what hurts their body and what? Yeah. Well, he was saying too, he was saying like, you can get this stuff from your doctor, but they're the levels that they test for are aren't like okay hey this is getting pretty low it could be a disease soon they only tell you if it is a disease oh so not or if it is really bad like it's it's to the point where now you're fucked instead of it's like you're trending that way he was saying like the levels that just regular doctors are looking for they should be it should be different should be higher so they catch you're getting lower yeah yeah more interesting stuff dude he's like base he's smart as fuck um super passionate about it loves you can tell when he's making those videos he loves doing it he loves looking into into the research and all that stuff he's he's a nerd about it and it's fucking cool and it's sweet and it always gets me fired up talking about the macronutrients and all the little things that are going to push me to the peak performance um but yeah speaking of all that like kind of runs into cutting weight and peak performance oh. paulo costa said he was 26 pounds so he said he was 211 right yeah and marvin vittori offered to fight <sighs> they he said catch weight i don't think they've determined what the catch weight would be they were th- i've heard talks at 205 oh shit well that's what marvin initially said he's like i don't care i'll meet him at 205 god see if marvin's on weight and he was ready to make 185 fight week you're like fuck i don't want to cut weight but if he's on pace for it make that motherfucker suffer i like costa i'm just saying in general i like marvin too but the, if I, sounds like costa had no plan like he was like he just wasn't gonna make weight yeah it was like either fights off or you meet me at catch weight fuck dude see that's that's a tricky situation for it depends like people's styles too and it's like those are some big boys yeah if i know if i'm that close to a fight and someone i'm making them suffer i'm saying fine let's fight at 187 188 like get something. down there as far as you can but uh, it sucks i want to see that fight so regardless yeah. i'm hoping it happens um, but, and you don't want to go through all that training and all that hype and all that eight weeks of whatever just to not fight so i understand where marvin's coming from when he's like marvin's hey, being too generous though he is but he that's gangster marvin's gangster dude. it is gangster they're both gangster i mean costa yeah be coming in that heavy just i, I mean so is he gonna be a 205 or he's gotta be if I he's mean, 211 he's on a fight week, yeah, he's, he's got to have already cut like 10 pounds. I mean, dieted. Maybe not, actually. That's, yeah, maybe not. Um, I don't know what his, I wonder if it was just like, so he got sick. He couldn't, like, cut, like there had to be some It good looked reason. like in the interviews, he just didn't give a frick. That's, that's what so it looked crazy. like. I just watched a couple little interviews. I didn't watch a lot of it. I don't know. I Well, yeah, I mean, Who I haven't got seen scrap? any remorse on his side. Well, if Costa's coming in that heavy and Marvin's already been cutting, I think that's a pretty clear advantage. I guess maybe not cardio It is a clear wise, advantage, but, but what if he's hurt? What if his knee's blown out and he's like, I just fucking, I'm not making weight. I can't do it. I need to fight. I need to make money. I'm broke. I'm just, these hypothetically, I'm broke. I have to fight. That happens a lot in the UFC to where, yeah. do you see fucking Francis and he's got a, 
It's like, what are you doing with all your money? <laughs> I know that's the a lot. The dude's of made money. millions. Yeah, I, I maybe he just. I mean, I know. I think he does. He's like probably very, very generous with money, like to giving his away and stuff. But there comes to a point where it's like, okay, that's stupidity. Well, unless he just had so much faith in himself that he's like, I know if I give away this money and help these people initially, that. But now you can't f- afford camp. I mean, yeah. it's it's. I don't know. What do you? What I think, think. Well, I still going back to the Costa. I think I want Paulo to get the job done. But with all that stuff, you don't know now if there is an injury, if there's how tr- serious he's taking training. Because that's 26 pounds. That's that's like he didn't even. But he's still just shredded. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. This is not fair. Some I wonder if he's shredded. I wonder if he this may be like a move. It's like a sign that he may move up. He's got to, dude. No, UFC's not going to let him fight at 185 again. They're not going to book him a fight at 185 if he can't make weight. They just yeah. won't. UFC just doesn't. They won't do that. Oh, uh, I don't know. Paulo followed me on Instagram, so I. For some, we're friends. We're now. boys. Yeah, yeah. So no, I I'm like him too. He's Paulo. He and, trains here. And I don't really. Vittori, his last. I, I, he's a little. He gets on people's nerves. Well, the stuff he says is. He said Izzy did not beat him in that fight. Uh, yeah. He said he did what he had to do, but he still. Izzy didn't. Some people look at fighting way different. In his perspective, he might think of fighting as. You know, not it's five five minute rounds is it's not fighting. It's it's a sport, and if you win the rounds, you did what you did, but you didn't win win. Like that's what the that's what some how people some people think of fighting. They don't think there should be time limit. They don't think there should be rounds. They don't. So he you know he's just got a different perspective on fighting. Yeah. So I'm I don't know. I mean, it, it, I feel like it's gonna be really interesting, especially if they do a catch weight, depending on what weight they do it at. I got, I just hope they stay on the card because is that card? Is there who else is on there? Let me look it up. Um, Alex Caseras. Oh yeah, Alex Caseras is always pretty fun to watch. Um, Ricky Glenn's fighting. Who? I think the Ricky Comey. Glenn. I think that. Who the fuck that? Rick Glenn versus Grant Dawson. Grant Dawson's on like 17 a, one. Jesus. He's like on a, like a seven eight fight win Ooh, streak. Jess Jess Rose Clark's on there. I'm watch that. Alex Caseras. So I mean, yeah, it, it would be a big. Trinaldo. I feel like it'd be a pretty big blow if, if they lost didn't. that fight. That would be that would be tough. Um, yeah, if they lost that fight, they're screwed. Just be. I mean, it's the main event. Any main event you lose is is tough. And it should be a really good fight. I mean, they're just big dudes who both just it's lost coming off a loss too. to Izzy. Small cage too. So, who do you got? Uh, Paulo Costa throws some scary heat, dude. And if he's with that big right now, it's hard to go against him. But Marvin's skilled, dude. Marvin is skilled. Yeah. And though you probably learned a lot in those fights against Izzy, or right. that especially the last one. Um, I don't know. I'd probably say Costa, but who knows? Gotta just hope they keep it on the card. Hopefully, this doesn't come out tomorrow and it's already <laughs> canceled or something. But uh, there's a lot of guys training at a uh, at fight ready. They got C four, I mean C three. Oh really? Triple C. They got a uh, br- um. Who's the new Brandon Figueroa's fighting? Figgy, Figgy. Yeah. What's his name? Davison. Davison. Davison Figueroa's there. The Wei Ling's there. Because um, Davison, well, uh, because tri- apparently Brandon Moreno like backstabbed Triple C and oh. like, trained for with Volkanovski when they're or no with um. Gosh, what was it now? Just cute little, little 25er drama. 25 er drama. 25 er drama. We don't. Yeah. That's high school or stuff. I don't remember. Um, well, your birthday's coming up. Yeah, don't care. How old are you? 27. Jesus. I'm getting rich. I mean, getting rich. Getting uh, older is an achievement or something. That's what my boy Russ said. <laughs> 27, right. getting older is an achievement. 27, dude. It's like, it's pretty cool and stuff. I just feel like I'm 15. 27 so. on the 24th. Yeah. Is that Sunday or Saturday? Don't know. It's, in, it's Sunday. Uh, right there. Oh, it's all July. Um, yeah. I don't know, dude. Birthday's coming up. Elena's birthday's coming up. Mom's birthday's coming up. Jeez. Yeah. So dad's not going to my fight, huh? Allegedly. Well, I mean, I only get four tickets, and I need to t- tell people who's going, and if dad said he's not going. Do we tell people or no? I just feel like uh, no, I kind of want their input, but it's okay. No. I just think we'll. I just want input, you know. Uh, Yeah, 24. I mean, 27 on the 24th. Probably not doing anything. Uh, probably hit up Drake. Well, if you, weren't in, if you weren't in fight camp. 
That'd be yeah. Cool. God, partying to me just still does not seem appealing. Just doesn't sound fun. It just doesn't sound fun drinking. Um, but after my fight a week later, Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul's allegedly happening December 18th in I don't think they Miami. Oh, in Miami? <sighs> Good golly. So I text him. He said, "R.I.P. to our livers." <laughs> <laughs> that that's crazy. I can't believe they're actually. That's gonna be finalized. It sounds like. Pretty yeah, seriously. I'm, 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 it sounds like it. So I, that's a week later after my fight. You best believe I'll probably be there if Danny doesn't break up with me after that. And she hates when I travel after. Well, it's just tough because they're coming off of eight weeks of strict. I know, but dude, the eight weeks of literally, I'm home. I'm nowhere else. I don't leave. I'm home all day. Pretty much every day. I'm surprised. I'd want you gone for a little Yeah, no least. shit. No, but well, I, I, I might, we might have to figure something out. Just fly her out and have her hang out for the weekend. Well, you guys could make it like a whole week trip out of it, really. Yeah, right yeah. after your fight. Yeah, and kick we'll it see. in Miami. For but it's her busy season of work, too. So it's oh. like, oh, uh, and I have Christmas a baby time. and shit. Uh, it's almost Christmas. Dude, Atlanta's walking-ish. She's taking like four steps at a time. It's the funniest shit ever. There's like, and then she falls and goes, ah. And she claps every time she stands up. She does baseball. She gives kisses. Now she goes, and it's the fucking cutest thing ever. There's nothing There's nothing better than going and picking her up. Because in the mornings, like right now, she's at Liz's. Um, so I'll be, I usually work out in the morning, go game for two hours and then go pick up Elena and it's the, it's the best. She she just, just, not even like she gets super excited. She definitely gets, it just for me, just going to pick her up. She's like, Oh my God, it's just so fun. It's like a fun event picking her up. God, she's so cute. I that's, know. That's weird. Cutest and thing ever. You're still kind of stuck on no more kids. What's that? Danny definitely doesn't want any more kids. I'm kind of in the air, but I'm kind of okay with one and done too. Don't you want like a little brother to... I already have a little brother. <laughs> no, I don't. You want <laughs> her to have a little brother? See, you want a little. I mean, it's pretty cool having a little brother. So maybe. See, like, I think she's not missing out. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I, well, I just, you don't want her to be that spoiled single parent or single child, child. kid. I don't know, dude. Danny's not having another baby. So if I am going to be with someone else, <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe she will have a little step. Maybe you can have someone uh, carry it for you. I, I wouldn't trust anyone else. Like Danny, the way she did her pregnancy, she so it just was so healthy. Yeah, and it's hard when you're pregnant. Like there was times where obviously she would just order. She's like, I just need fucking pizza. I need it, and she would get pizza. But like for the most part, she ate super healthy, took care of herself, researched being pregnant, and all the stuff. And she's like very, very took care of herself a lot. Where I think a lot of girls just kind of just don't. Well, I think that it's you can pay some pretty good money to like. That the girl takes it super serious. Like, they have, like, pretty yeah, much but, professional. Yeah, but then they're home by themselves, and Danny and I aren't there watching them. They're, like, <laughs> sucking down a Sprite. Like, that <laughs> happens, guaranteed. I wouldn't kill them. I just, dude, when people drink pop, I'm like, are you ridiculously stupid? Pop is fucking poison, dude. If you're yeah. drinking pop, you might as well be smoking cigarettes. I don't fructose. drink pop, dude. Yeah, that high fructose corn syrup is yeah serious stuff. It's so bad, dude. But the people are just a, addicted to it. To it, I know it's. They I, know how to make it. They know how to keep you coming back. It's, it's addicting. More. It's just, it's, yeah, it's like super addicting, dude. Speaking of addicting, dude, I've been washing my face lately at what? night in the morning. I've always kind of been jealous, you know, some people don't like, you know, I was just talking about routine, right? Right. And I think it's important. I always was jealous. Danny was putting all these serum serums on her face and this stuff. And, and I was kind of jealous. I never had that, but I did now, dude, our, our buddies over at geology. Whew. It's, it's, it's nice, dude, because I just need direction. Sometimes I need to be told what to do. And it needs to be simple. It needs to be simple, dude. And, uh, and so, I mean, in high school, I, I wish I would have had this in high school, dude. Because yeah. I had acne. I was so insecure. Now, getting older, I have a little bit better skin. But I still have problems. I still have oily skin. Uh, I didn't know exactly what kind of skin I had until I took the que uh, little questionnaire. It takes, what, 30 seconds? Geology. 30 second geology quiz. Geology.com. Yeah. Uh, I'm number 15. Regiment number 15 ingredients. Everyday face wash, vital morning face cream, repairing night cream, nourishing eye cream. Dude, it's simple. The ingredients are quality. It's, 
I've been using it every day, and I literally my skin feels so much Softer better. Softer than a baby's bottom. Skincare science. Skincare shouldn't feel like a gamble. All geology's products are made with scientifically proven ingredients trusted by dermatologists and cosmetic chemists. Can That's you, such a huge thing. Oh yeah. Being able to read ingredients and not just it's just like food dude if you can't read the ingredients on the back of a of a candy bar or something don't eat it if you don't have quality ingredients don't put it on your face you know what i mean it's simple as that it's nice they comes with two everyday face washes for your spe specific skin type which is important too because if i got oily shit i don't want to be putting on some shit that's not for my skin because it's not going to benefit it. um one in your bathroom uh, on shower. your sink, yeah. one in your shower. You got your freaking, you got your little pumps. And it's just a nice little routine. You wake up, throw some warm water on your face, dab a little. It's quality shit, dude. Geology.com, code sugar. Sugar? Sugar. I so just, just take the test, see what it gives you. If you're a number 15, you're probably going to be a legend like me. What number were you? 18. Ah! Uh, weird skin on uh, number 18. I, I think, dude, it's it's simple. It's nice. Everyone needs a good face wash. You just need it, dude. You want to look, you want to get chicks? Yeah. Yep. This is for men, dude. You want to get chicks, use geology. You can technically say you're a geologist Ooh. if you use this stuff. That's how I've been That's getting chicks. I go to the coffee shop. They're like, well, what do you do? I'm like, I'm a geologist. <laughs> like, I, I technically am not lying because I use geology in the morning. And you look like a geologist. And they're like, damn, your skin. Can I lick you? I'm like, if that's what you want to do. Start with a complete trial kit. Our products work best as a set. So start with a 30-day trial of, of all four products. Everyday face wash, vital morning face cream, repairing night cream, nourishing, <coughs> nourishing eye cream. Dude, I put nourishing eye cream on this morning and I can't look at me. You look good, dude. It looks like you have makeup on. You look so handsome. You know what I mean? Your eyes don't just do that by themselves. Exceptional customer service and skin care consultation. Cons cons consultation. Consultation. Probably. Yeah, I'm just not a very good word or reader. Whoa. We guarantee that you will love geology and help you at every step of the way to achieve your goals. People will notice the results and you'll love the easy routine. Compliments from your friends, family, coworkers. Look younger. Feel fresher every day. We have 4,000 five-star customer views and an average customer rating of 4.8 out of 5. That's pretty good man Jeez. we've been recognized for men's health esquire and ask men grooming awards head over to geology.com take their free skin care quiz to save up to 50 percent on your 30-day trial or just click the link below click the link below just do it that's geology to save 50 percent off on your 30-day trial uh it's nice 50 percent off in the shower at night I do my hot tub do my cold plunge jump in the shower put a little geology on i think it helps me sleep better yeah. Just knowing my face is protected. You know me. When I'm in the cage, Ooh. what's my main goal? Don't get hit. I don't want to get hit. Face. Why? Because I don't want to look ugly, dude. There's Why do I use geology? Because I don't want to look ugly, dude. I ain't getting hit outside the cage. Boom. You damn well know I ain't getting hit. Wait. In the cage. I ain't getting hit outside the cage. I got geology to protect me, man. Makes you, makes you faster. Makes you have better head movement. You know what I mean? So, geology.com, use code sugar. Shit's fire. Uh, go to the, go, just take the little quizzy. Quizzy busy, you know what I'm saying? That's what they, I say. They got me says. as a lifetime customer. Dude, I like 100%. it. I've never had a face wash that I genuinely like, so. And it's like I said, dude, I see Danny putting all her shit on. Like, that's too much. Like, she does too many, too many things. But this is a nice nightly routine we can put on, and I can just feel cute, feel. And it comes in a great color, dude. I've always liked this mustard color. Yeah. Like, you can't go wrong with the box. The burnt yellow. Uh, but, yeah, geology.com, thank you guys for sponsoring this episode. And uh, thank you for keeping my skin healthy as fudge. <laughs> also, don't drink pop. Because if you drink pop, you're going to have to even use more geology. Yeah. Because that shit gives you acne. Uh, Did you see that Kanye officially changed his name to Ye? I think it's just Is yay. it yay or ye? Yay. Kanye. So yay. someone called him ye. Yeah, but it's Yeezy. Yeah, he don't reply to that, he said. He told me. I'm like, hey, ye. He's like. He's like, yay. I'm like, yay. That's pretty cool. That's crazy. I wonder, you ever think about changing your name I was, to Sugar? Yes, I actually was thinking about that. I've thought about changing my name to Sugar, but then I'm like, I don't want to be Sugar all the time. Like, yeah. I just don't. I like being Sean. Like, Sean's decent. decent guy. He's a decent guy. Sugar's a fuck, mm, dude. If I would have to be sugar all the time, I'd be dead. 
That guy's crazy. I try to contain him as much as I can, and I do a good job. Does it feel like an like an eternal battle almost, or is it just like sometimes? Yeah, sometimes he like it's an everyday battle. Every day, I just want to go to ASU and pick up checks, dude. That's what Sugar wants to do. Yeah, it's just in my blood, dude. It's in my DNA. It's in my veins, and I just battle with that a lot. It's easier once I'm in camp, and I just kind of get it dialed in a little bit. But after camp, you guys saw what happened. Sugar took over, dude. He took over the. Took over. So uh, yeah, no, it's a battle. Yeah. I wouldn't want my name to be Sugar because then I feel like I would probably lose more of that battle. Speaking and of, that's just being true. Speaking of losing battles, Connor McGregor, cause he gets another victory under his belt by punching on DJ. Is that alleged or is that happened? No, I mean I think it's it's pretty happened. Happened. I heard the story and it just sounded weird. He asked the couple to go on a go with them and then he just cracked him. That's what I heard. I don't know, dude. But I mean, he's. I'm not surprised. I wouldn't yeah, say. I was say that. Are you? Sick? I wouldn't be surprised. Well, like that random guy in the bar in Ireland. It was an old man. That was a video, yeah. And if there wasn't a video and someone said that, I wouldn't be like, yeah, I don't know. But the video proved true. Uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> I mean, with that, is I don't know if we'll ever. It's hard to say because a lot of times you see Connor. He's drinking. He's out. He's trying to give Johnny Depp a drink. He's yeah. And dude, just. The alcohol is just inflammation. It's just poison to your body. It's just mine. Like when I did it, it was right after a fight, and it was, I I was in, I was on the weekend. It was like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday kind of thing. You know? Yeah. <laughs> no, when I did it, it was just a couple of days in a row. Then I'll be good. Then like, his seems just to be like kind of like an everyday thing. Yeah, like a lot of people's. It's just a which is a lot of people. I think home. it's sad. It, I want to see Connor be Connor. I want to see him. Drop, drop people. I just, I don't know. With that being said, I think I'm the number one most entertaining fighter inside the cage as far as. Who hasn't been to jail? No, <laughs> I think in just in general overall, when you're watching a full fight card, who makes you feel the most just present in watching? Like, you don't want to do something else. You don't want to be on your phone. You don't want to be texting. You don't want to go to the bathroom. You don't want to get up and grab chips. Something you want to watch just what I'm doing, dude. I watch on the screen as a fan. When I watch my fights, I watch them as a fan. I'm like, I'm jealous of you guys that get a watch when I'm in there performing because it just looks magical, dude. I look like I'm painting. It's like the closest thing to painting, like physically paint. I don't know. It's weird. I feel like it's a pleasing to the, even to the casuals because it's a lot more fun and exciting and And I'm just poetic. Skinny. It, it is poetic. It's a, it's it's poetry in motion is what they call it, I think. And it's just, I'm just jealous of you guys that you guys get to watch me live. I have to watch myself on TV. I don't get to watch myself live. I don't like watching you live, dude. Just know like that watching, I'm going to win. I know, but I like watching it like after when I can. When you already know I won. When I don't want to feel like. It is hard that. watching someone. Dude, I just feel like I want to throw Even if I get dropped, time. knocked out, dude, I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, I know, but I'm not good. I'm uh, embarrassed of that. <laughs> I'm like, you're like, God, that's not my brother. Not answering brother. these calls. People are, dude, isn't that your brother? Hell no. No, no, no. Maybe Only when he wins. Year. Only when he wins. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's it's crazy. I watched, I just, just watching my, I watched my fight the other day, and it's like so cool. It's just so fun, dude. It's so fun. I can't wait when I'm 40, and I just have like 40 fights, and I can just watch them on replay, and just smoke King Palms, and just take <laughs> Dr. Dabber rips, and just watch myself. Uh, it's funny. Did you see that? I can't remember. I think it was Ur Irwin Riv Rivera. Uh-uh. He had like he was a ex UFC fighter. He had a felony manslaughter charge, and but he pled insanity, which means like he's crazy. And um, so I think he ended up getting off of the charge. Look at good for him. Look up Irvin, Irwin or Irwin, Irwin. Oh wow, Irwin Rivera, UFC's Irv freed from custody after judge granted approval his plea of not guilty by reason of insanity two oh, counts att of attempted murder attempted murder accused oh a stabbing his sister okay i did hear about this guy so is he in the ufc still just jokes he probably shouldn't be right i don't know if he's like, if what, he's insane he probably can't going on in the u.s well look at him he looks insane everyone's just seeing sister. they're just trying to one up each other oh dog's bug on a scrap they're one up in each other in the ufc Scary. Oh yeah, I know. <sighs> Fucking frustrated. Um, Kevin Lee popped for Adderall. Did you see that or whatever? Midnight Mania. Kevin Lee issues statements of um, 
Amphetamine. Whatever, dude. You know what I'm trying to say. Issue same note. So he got suspended. So for, you can't take Adderall. Tim keeps trying to take to have me take a little Adderall when I game. He's like, dude, you just be focused, lasered in. I'm like, no. Even if I like it, then I'm gonna have to take it more, and I don't want to. Oh, I tested, well, tested over the limit. limit. Uh, the most recent fight. Until 18, I was diagnosed with ADHD. This has affected me. Dude, if anyone has ADHD, fucking D, it's me. So he dumped him I'm all down. I wonder how much if he did. Like how much. Do you have to pop extra? How much do you have to take extra to go over the limit? I wonder. Yeah. And I wonder if there's really that much benefit of taking extra. Damn, that's how long is he suspended? Did it say? Um. He's had a tough go in the UFC, but he's fought studs. No, I don't see it. How long? Hopefully, it's not a long term suspension. I feel like there's been worse going on, or like less suspension for worse stuff. So hopefully, it's nothing. Hopefully, nothing too serious. Yeah, seriously, Paulo Costa. Um, oh, they, 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 this is updated 30 minutes ago. You'll see Vegas 41, Paulo Costa, Marvin Torrin, verbally, oh, verbally agree. They've got it. I mean, if they both verbally agree, I don't feel like the athletic commission could say, no, nope, not yeah. letting you. It's like, it's those, they're the ones fighting. They're the ones. That's if still it's like, 16 pounds in, what, three days? Four days is that manageable? Is that yeah? He could do it if he if he's been if he's been hydrating and stuff. If he's two eleven, he might have been drinking two gallons of water, sixteen pounds of water, and it, that should be able to come off decently. So if they agree to a catch weight, what's the purse and everything like? If uh, then it should be normal. Should it should be. be fine. If he can make one, if they agree uh-huh. one ninety five, he makes one ninety five. Yeah, or if he makes one ninety six, they'll probably take percentage. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah, UFC missing weight and shit. M- making weight's not fun, dude. So fight week, I guarantee Marvin's like, hell yeah, like let's do it. <gasps> do you think they should be more of a purse for missing weight? Because the guy, I think two weeks ago, he missed weight by quite a bit, and it was like a really prelim fight. Uh-huh. And the guy, his opponent was pissed. He's like, what's six percent of? Well, I don't even the, get this. The fighter doesn't get the money. The fighter doesn't. The commission does. Oh, so what? I'm almost positive, like. But then that guy was pissed because he's like, what's whatever percent, like three, five percent of 15,000. He's like, that's literally nothing. It should. That's not a. I don't even think the fighter gets it. But he's saying like the opponent who misses weight, you might as well miss weight if you're going to lose one thousand dollars. But you have a five pound advantage or something. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Bounty Hunter calls Crazy. out Brian Laundry search after remains found. Oh, yeah. <gasps> yeah. He's dead. It sounds like I don't know if it's been confirmed what? or anything. Dr. Bounty has done sniffing around Brian Laundry, the reality TV. Who interrupts the Florida honeymoon with his new wife, Frances Rain, who joined the manhunt. Brian Laundry told us, we're praying for Gabby's family. Yeah. I think what? It was, Where? Not sure. I, someone came in Twitch chat the other day no and said way. that they found him dead. I don't know if it's been confirmed by Opsy or... Damn, dude. I thought for that sure sucks, he was going to... I want to see that dude just rot in prison rather than just getting the easy way out. <sighs> That's crazy. I wonder if he killed himself. Who knows? He might be faking his death and just That's like... what some, there was obviously going to be some rumors of that, oh, but yeah. people are like, "That's like his last part of his plan was to fake his death. And But I don't... The eyes are going to be on that autopsy and everything for a while. Well, well whatever happened to Jeffrey Epstein? Well, that's high up government officials, though. Hey, I know, but it's crazy. Like, it's this is all in the news, and then it's gonna be something else in two days, and then yeah. it's gonna be something else in two days. Like, it's not. But that, Brian doesn't have that like power that because yeah. Jeffrey could have like if everything would have been released and he he would have let out names of some high powered people that could yeah. potentially. Yeah, God, that was that was crazy when all that was going on. I was just watching every YouTube video I could find. Well, his um, what was her name? Just Gillette, what Maxwell? Yeah, Maxine. Maxwell, just Lane Maxwell. She was she's been arrested, and I haven't heard anything. About I know. Her. I remember that too. Like she was gonna let out some stuff. Blah blah. blah. Oh, I'm watching this her. this show. Uh, Elise Matsungana. This it's crazy, dude. In Brazil, it's on Netflix. And in Brazil, she she killed her husband, shot him in the head, um, and then dis dis uh dismembered him. Goes to pr- this happened in 2012. Goes to prison for like a couple years, four, five, six, seven years, whatever. Gets out. She's out of prison now. And like the whole Netflix series is like it's it's her talking about it, and it's the trial and stuff. It's it's interesting. I always enjoyed the trial, watching stuff like the trial and just the lawyers talk and how they can manipulate and just do things 
Uh, but it's it's pretty good. It's crazy. Of course, Danny wanted to watch it. Like, yeah, I want to watch some wife kill her husband and cut him up. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> because remember that Mark Norman <laughs> yeah, special? I was that. Yeah. that Mark Norman on YouTube. But, Did we talk about it last time? No, I don't we, remember. Well, you brought it up, but you didn't say anything. Oh, I, I hadn't finished. Seen it yet. Oh, okay. How funny. That was probably the funniest special I've ever seen. Yeah, it was just rapid fire 53 jokes. minutes of LOLing, dude. Yeah. Fit, one after another, after another, after another. Theo Vaughn's is out on Netflix. I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to watch that one later. Mark was just, he was just saying the questionable jokes. It's that dark humor. You like to hear in a comedian. Like, yeah. that, that's how comedy I feel like should be because it's like, he's not saying anything like to harm anybody and he's not like go, it's, really going it, to death, it, it's but. dark humor yeah. is what his is this is where you're like kind of feeling comfortable but it's like fuck that was funny i'm sure almost everyone in that crowd at some point was like was that at me was that at my the guy sitting next to he's me? an but. asian supremacist too <laughs> that was funny was funny i love at the end what he said i don't want to say it on here because i don't want it's just it will be i, I read the comments and i so i heard i like read what he said at the end and then i but still made me laugh you remember what i'm talking about yeah no Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah, one got me. Even I though I had already read it, it yeah. still made me LOL. But yeah. you guys got to check it out. It's on YouTube. Mark Norman. It's uh, out to lunch. Also, Theo fun. Vaughn's Netflix specials out. Yeah, I've heard uh, that was good. I heard that one was really good too. I'm gonna watch that one. That dude's just straight funny. Theo is one of the funniest try. humans ever. It's just his the way his brain works. Some of the shit he says, it's like just so goof, goof. Those comedians are like, I feel like they don't get the credit for how smart they are. It's Thanks, like rappers. dude. I appreciate that. It's like rappers and that. freestylers. Like to be able to think of that kind of stuff and storytell like they do is pretty incredible. What about memorizing? Oh, yeah. Memorize. 53 minutes of jo- Like he didn't have four jokes with boom punchlines. He had like 40 jokes. Yeah. And he just go one from another one from another. He wouldn't really care if he laughed or didn't. Like he would just had another one in his head. <laughs> yeah. He didn't really interact with, I guess he did kind of when he would like point at people, but he like didn't wait for the crowd to like, Joe, I don't know, but it was a really, really fun yeah. special. I wish I, I want to go see him in person if he's ever in that Phoenix would be sweet. or something. That would be sweet. Be I love how he just says how awkward he is and stuff, and just like, oh, the God, it was just so funny when he's talking about hooking up with chicks. Like, why don't you just be yourself? And he's like, Pfft. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> or the, or the one where he said, uh, the, we have pickup lines. You need keep me lines or stay yeah, here yeah. lines. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. I don't want to say too much about it because people, if you haven't seen it, you, you have to go watch it. Because taken out of context, like a lot of comedians, it could be bad. But so it's hard to just say a joke what he said. Yeah, true. Like. Okay. You have to know how he says it. And I'll, you know what we should do before you leave? If you want, we should watch Tommy Fury's last fight. Because I've never seen him fight. Okay, I watched uh, like the last two rounds uh, when he was on the undercard of. Okay. Against, I, I I'm gonna I, I really want to watch that fight before I give a prediction. Um, obviously I'm going for Jake. He's my buddy. But Tommy fumbles. Tommy fumbles. I wonder if that's in the contract. Sounds like it probably is going to be. Jake is a ex- I, I, I'm jealous of the guys he's fighting because he gets to talk. Like, I can't talk shit to Thomas Almeida. I can't talk shit to Eddie Wineland. Like, yeah. Paiva. I don't even think he speaks English. Yeah, there's a lot of language barrier. It's, like, I don't, it's hard to. So, But once I get to fight, like, I don't even know if I can fight Dominic Cruz anymore. After this fight, dude, he's not really on my radar. He's kind of down, like... Like he might have to ask me for a fight. Yeah, he lost. And he might. He lost his, lost that, which is not power. a good move for him. Me calling out Dominic Cruz after I get a win, whether he wins or loses, is just like people kind of they're gonna still want to see it. But what is it? I don't know. Is he even main event on the prelims anymore? Did they move the Ponzinibbio there? From last I've seen, he was yeah, not even the main event on the prelims. Poor guy. It's okay. That's surprising to me, but. Is it? He makes a post on Instagram and gets like 7,000 likes, dude. Engagement's a real thing. You see me post, I get fat likes. You see some of these guys post and it's like they might have a million followers, two million followers, but the engagement's not there. It's, it's it, And that's yeah. what people look for. I'm not saying UFC specifically, but sponsors, they want to see engagement. They want to see fans commenting. They want to see people views. They want to see, you know what I mean? So. Right. I don't know. I, we'll see. We'll I still see. think it'd be a sweet fight between you and Dom. If it, Maybe if, it, if he goes and puts on a really nice performance. I'll, I'll check my schedule. Yeah, I'll so look at my wrist. See if i got time today. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yo, money. Money bag. Money bag, yo. Yo, money bag, yo. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll watch that. Been playing Madden again a lot. 
It's been fun. Oh yeah, you. That's what I want to talk about. You guys, you and Alana might be moving. Be might be our neighbors essentially. Pretty much gonna be a next. five minute bike ride. I know. I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be nice to be able to be up here and. You get, guys, you don't have my backyard, but you five minutes away. You got a backyard, especially if you put a bike outside in that little patio area. Yeah. You just cruise over. It'll be lit. Play some ball. We've been playing catch lately. Be able to see Elena whenever, and you yeah. guys and mom and. Yeah, that'll be sweet. Dude, that'll, you guys, that'll be nice. Because you guys have never lived together by yourself, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be nice. And that was a nice apartment. Really nice apartment. Walk in, boom, kitchen, living room area, upstairs, All two bedrooms. Stainless steel, nice appliances. Get your, you're going to, oh yeah, Brand you're getting a new. PC. Yeah. Logan, our buddy Logan's building you a PC that should be done next week. He said even this weekend, potentially, if the parts come in. <laughs> he said he already has a couple parts. Waiting for the rest. Dude, that will be so sweet. We'll be able to run the duos. I'm sick of being Tim's partner, dude. I'm sick of being Schmitty's partner, dude. I love Schmitty, dude. He's funny. Tim's funny. Good coach. Sucks at Call of Duty. And, like, sometimes he'll get, like, three kills and I'll get two and we'll die out early. And he's like, see? See? (laughs) And then we'll check the COD tracker for the day and I'll have 50 more kills than him on the day. But he's like, yeah, but that one game. I'm like, dude. (laughs) <laughs> but sometimes it's wagers and that one kill he had tied us up. So, I mean, it is it is important. Me, Jinx, and CG were running yesterday. Oh, Jesus. We just we just were dropping demolished. like... We had like three or four games in a row where we hit just straight dubs, and we all had 10-plus kills. We were playing with Tony Redbox also. Oh, you're just carrying Tony. Tony five box. Oh, is that what you're calling him? Yeah. He drops five bombs? He li- every time we've won, we won three or four in a row, and every time he literally had five. It was crazy. Five, he's five, the, five, He's Dana Wyatt of the Red Box Regionals, dude. He is. Our boy he Tony Red Box. It. He loves the Red Box Regionals. He does. He puts $100 on the line. Winner gets 100 bucks, so we split it 50-50. Me and, uh, me and Tim? No. Was it me and Tim? I don't know. I know I got 50 bucks the other day. It felt good, dude. Putting wagers on those games... So we'll do best of three. Uh, whoever has most kills each game wins. So you you guys have most kills two games in a row. Boom. We usually put five dollars on it or ten dollars, and it's fun, dude. It makes it so much more fun. Streaming in general makes gaming more fun than the wagers. It's just like I'm living on cloud thirty seven, dude. That's a high cloud. It's it's a high. But cloud. it definitely makes it more fun to watch too. And there's like yeah. competitive and money on the line. Yeah, Something you've been averaging what twelve viewers? Yeah, I had like. Move it on, huh? Hit like 24 or 25 yesterday. Damn. For a little bit. That's wild. I know. I'm trying to think of something else we could do on Twitch that's like aside from gaming, gaming to build our channels. And I was thinking once you get your setup and then once I get my setup here and I have a decent connection, we could watch the UFC fights okay. and just be live on stream and just talk about them. Yeah, because there's like a co-stream thing where it like pulls both Ooh, of our things into one. That would be sick. That would be fun. So, I don't know. Comment if you guys think that's a good idea. If you guys want us to watch the UFC fights together. And we could just freestyle. I could rap. Yeah. (laughs) Daniel's gay. Good at Call of Duty. Duty. You see that, what I did there? He's good at Call of Duty. Oh, that's a good episode right there. Sponsored by geology.com. Use code SUGAR. Dude, if you're ugly, use use geology and you won't be ugly anymore. I mean, some people will, but like, that's not cool, bro. I'm probably gonna go outside, hit the bag for about five seconds, and then call it a day. Yeah, that's about then your go training game. schedule. I've seen you. Yeah, train. might run a couple feet. It's so nice out, dude. Should we go play catch actually for just for five? Yeah, warm up that shoulder a bit. Um, all right, let's go do that. Let's go play catch outside. That'd be lit. Uh, Warlike sucks at Madden. Follow Daniel on Twitch. Pro Mally dot or no Pro Mally TTV. Sean Mally UFC. We stream daily. I, We're going I, to Cali. I've been with a lot of randoms from the chat just hopping in they're like hey you got a space i'm like yeah subscribe to me pay me 50 no i'm just kidding but boom play with them but we got, we've been playing with some bunch of viewers and everything it's been fun yeah set it's, up a cod turn i know like a i'm supposed to be doing my private people game. i signed with right now mm-hmm. it's supposed to be setting up a, a setting up a tournament for me oh i finally got my scuff controller in dude i oh, haven't had a paddle in probably six months, maybe longer. I haven't jumped. I've been drop shotting, which is not good because I'm the only thing that can shoot your head and get head shots. But it, I mean, drop shotting works sometimes. But when you're shooting, go, going to get someone that's jumping around, Sorry. they kill me, dude. Yeah. It pisses me off. You signed with Crypto Cannabis? Signed with, Crypto, finally a part of the NFT community. Crypto Cannabis Club. Yep, CCC. That's a sweet. Got a dope NFT. That one's sick. It is cool. I wonder if I, should, I, wonder if I can blow it up. I don't know how they work. I mean, it's just, it's the image, by, so I could I could go to, like, 
Costco or wherever they fucking price the internet and blow yeah, it up, pretty, throw it up it's somewhere. It's a pretty sick NFT. Thanks, cool bro. company. Yeah. Good community. Yeah. So. Community wit lit tit. All right. We out. Thank you guys for tuning in to episode 39 of the Bro Matt Show. 38. Is it? Mm-hmm. 38. That's what I said. Yep. All right, dudes. <laughs>